a lot of people come up and they say, I'd love to do this. And I ask them, well, what would you do to get there? And the number one thing is I wouldn't read a book. Oh, well, I don't read. Well, then why'd you go to school? If you <laughs> do not read, you have no advantage over those who cannot read. So now that we caught you up from the last hour or so of us talking, how do we overcome objections? Is it easy? All of these sayings that you hear, oh, well, I'm just waiting. I haven't gotten the opportunity. Of course, you didn't get the opportunity. You have to go out and take the opportunity. How many people that you know as the greatest of all time were just, it was so easy for them at the beginning. And how many of them failed over and over and over so many more times? It would have made the average person just give up, lock themselves in the room, curl up in the fetal position and cry. And they just kept getting turned down over and over and over. Lila, why don't you talk? You have some great stories about famous people that they just, they would not give up. They had the tenacity and the willpower just to keep going. Tell us about how they overcame their objections. One of my favorites was the story about Sylvester Stallone, which a lot of people don't know. He wanted to be in he wanted to be in the movie business since he was really little. It was a dream of his. And when he got older and tried to accomplish that goal, he was told no because, you know, well, you look goofy or you talk goofy. They they didn't like the way that he presented himself. And so he got told no a lot of times. He went to different agencies. He got turned down 1500 times by different agents whoa, trying whoa, whoa. to get into the movie business. 100 times. 1500 and there aren't even that many agents in New York. He went to their offices 7, 8, 9 times because he was determined one of these is going to pick him up. And the only way he even got an agent is he came into the one guy's office at like three in the afternoon and waited for him. And they closed down the office and he still sat there. So the next morning when the guy came in, he was still sitting there. And the guy finally brought him into the back of the office and gave him a like a really minor role where he got beat up in the movie. His whole <laughs> his whole thing was like a, a 20 second clip of him getting beat up. And that was it. That was the best he could get. And he took it because it was an opportunity. But so he realized, did that opportunity look the way he wanted it to look? Oh, not at all. That is not at all what he wanted. He wanted to be out there uh, entertaining and inspiring people. And that was definitely not it. Did whatever it took just to get a foot in the door. Yes. And that's what he did. The moment he got that opportunity, he got his foot in there. Devin, have you ever done a job that you didn't want to do? Because you knew that's what needed to be done just to get started. I have done that quite a few different times. For example, the first thing that comes to my mind is when I published my first book, If I Can Do It, So Can You. I went up and I spoke in front of a bunch of different groups in, what was that, a half a dozen different states, yes. as well as I went on my first podcast. And that was not comfortable for me. I am not a huge, I'm an introvert and I was especially an introvert then. I did not like going up and in front of a lot of people and talking to them, but I knew that's what needed done. And so that's what I pushed myself to do. So you're saying you didn't overcome, you pushed through your fear of public speaking, which many people say is the second biggest fear in the world. And now listening to Devin, who is still 16 years old, speak on the radio multiple times. In fact, you guys run your own program once about every two weeks, correct? Correct. Correct. And so, Devin, you take charge of that most of the time because there's no adults. I don't listen to you. I'm not even in the same room. You just take over and run that. And you have built up to that because of the terrible pain, the uncomfortable situations you went through getting on stage when you were only 11 years old. Is that right? Correct. I got on stage. I did it. I pushed through. I got better. I did it more and more. And now I'm good enough that I can run a show with my brother and I. Your, your pain was rewarded. You went right. through and did stuff that a lot of people don't want to or couldn't do. 
And now we have our own show on the Real Power Family with just you and I. And hopefully we can bring on some guests soon.